Hey guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial where we are building this CMS application using ASP.NET Core 3 and Angular 10. In the last video tutorial, we implemented the change password functionality for this application which we are building in Angular and ASP.NET Core. So our ASP.NET Core backend API will be used by the Angular app to update the user's password. In this video tutorial, we will be working on securing the routes that we have in this Angular application. Currently, we have not yet implemented any authentication guard on the routes. Therefore, even though the user is not logged in, protected routes can still be accessed. So, what I mean by this is if we log in and try to access the settings page we can access it it's a protected route and we can change the user's password from this ui now if i log out and try to access this settings page i can still access the ui even though i would not be able to change the password because i don't have a valid token that i need to attach while making this request i can still access the ui for changing the user's password which should be fixed when we deploy the application so we are going to implement an authentication guard service that will be used to protect the ui in our application that needs to be protected and only shown to users which have been already authenticated so let's go ahead and fix this issue we will go back to our visual studio code and start working on this authentication guard service so here in Visual Studio Code, we will go ahead and open the terminal window. In the terminal window, we will type in the following command, which is ng generate service in the services folder. And we will call this service as auth guard, so auth dash guard. And you can name this service anything that you like. I'm going to call this as auth guard because we are creating an authentication guard service. So we will hit enter and we should see a auth guard service being created. We don't need this spec file, so I'll go ahead and delete it. We can also pass in the flag no spec to true if we don't want to create the test file, uh, which I didn't do over here while passing the uh, command to the terminal but yes we can manually delete it now I have deleted the test file all we need to do is work on this auth guard service class so we can close our terminal and here in this auth guard service class we are going to instantiate or inject certain services that we would need to uh, protect our routes so let's go ahead and instantiate these services over here in the constructor the following services needs to be injected in the constructor of this auth guard service class we need the account service the router and the cookie service to access the cookies in our browser the auth guard service will extend our observable store since we need to know the state of our user and we have done the same implementation in our account service as well in order to know the state we have first extended our account service with the observable store. Our store has the values of the logged in status of the current user. Therefore, in order to know the value of the logged in status, we have to first extend our class with the observable store. That's what we have done in AuthGuard service as well. We have extended this class. Next thing we have to do is implement can activate on this AuthGuard service which will help us to decide if this particular request that is coming in to access that route that user or that request can activate that route as the name itself suggests can activate which basically means that the request or the user who's accessing that route can activate that specific route it's either true or it's false so here as we have extended our auth guard service from observable store we have to pass certain values to the base constructor 
if we want to display the logs on the console and track the history we have to set this to true next thing we have done is we have created a behavior subject object over here and the value of this behavior subject object we have initialized this value from the account service we have a method called as check login status in the account service so the initial value while setting this observable object over here which is of type behavior subject i have set the value that i receive from account service next thing in the constructor what i'm trying to do over here is i'm calling the global state changed method where i am subscribing to this method and if the state is changed then i will get the value of the logged in status of the user so once again i will set the value here by calling the next method our behavior subject has a method called as next and we can use it to set the value for that object so in any event this value changes so we can set it over here from the state so now this object here will have the value whether the user is logged in or not logged in in the application so we will use this particular object here to uh, decide whether we want to show or hide certain routes in our application so next thing that we do since we have implemented the can activate interface we have to add the can activate method so we have added this method over here and this method requires us to pass two parameters which is the activated route snapshot and the state itself now here i have added all the references so you can go through it in order to know which particular class and from where i have imported them next thing over here i have done is the login status i have piped the response or the value that i get from it and i've used the take operator here to access the value and then if the value is true or false based on the value i have applied certain logic over here first to check if the user is not logged in if this value is false which means that the user is not logged in therefore i will redirect the user to the login page if the user is logged in then based on the destination of the user so the user might want to access the settings page and that will be the initial destination of the user but since the user was not logged in we redirected the user to the login page after the user has logged in we will redirect the user back to the initial destination and i will show you this in the debugging console how the values are received and how the values are stored in these objects next in the switch case we are passing this destination object based on the path we will redirect the user based on their role so at the moment i just have one role which is customer that have provided access to the client app because our admin role users cannot access the client application they have to create a uh, profile with a role customer in order to access the uh, application as customer so for that reason i have just added only one role if you have multiple roles you can create an array and you can uh, do a condition check over here or you can just add more role checks by placing an or operator and then adding more conditions over here so if the role of the user is customer we will go ahead and allow them to access that route finally if everything fails we return false so this is all we need in this authentication guard service now we need to implement this authentication guard service on our routes for that we will be going to the app module.ts file which is located here in the app folder we will open this file here in the providers Array, we are going to add the authentication guard service and we'll add the import statement next we will go to the user folder which also contains the user module because we are lazy loading this module it has its own module file so here as well we will import the authentication guard service and add the providers add it to the providers array by doing this now we will be able to implement the authentication guard one more thing that we would want to do is we want to provide or implement this authentication guard on the certain routes so that we will go to the 
user module itself or the user routing module which is inside the user folder so we have another file called as user routing modules which contains all the routes so on the routes that i want to implement this scan activate i will add this scan activate key and provide the auth guard service over here in the array so you can add more authentic uh, guard services over here place it place them over here but we just have one auth guard service over here in this can activate so i have added it over here next thing that i will do is go ahead and save the changes and i need to test if everything loads fine in the browser so let's go ahead and do that so now we have the browser let's inspect this tab go to sources and here in the auth guard service file i'll place a breakpoint right here at the login status object that we have next i will also place a breakpoint over here so we can check the value and finally we will place a breakpoint over here on the my account settings because that's the uh, route that i was initially trying to access so let's copy this route go here oh i can just select this now for the first time when i'm trying to access this route as you can see i'm going to move forward and the login status here we have received is false which means that the user is not logged in so if the user is not logged in we are going to redirect the user to the login page so that's what happened over here in the browser the user was not logged in so we redirected the user to the login page now this is our destination url because the user was initially trying to access my account settings but we redirected them to the login page because the user was not logged in so now when the user logs in we will once again check the login status which is now true because we have subscribed to this global state changed object over here so we are getting the live value also note that the destination url is my account settings because that was the url that the user was trying to initially access so we have a switch condition over here which is checking the case if i continue to debug here you will notice that the case block which contains my account settings we have hit the breakpoint and here if the user role is customer we will go ahead and return the my accounts page which is if I continue debugging, the my account page is loaded. So in this way, I've shown you like how it works, how the can activate method works on the authentication guard. So now if we try to access these protected routes without logging in, we will be redirected to the login page. So we can make sure that all the routes are loading. We have no issues next thing that i will do is go ahead and log out and here if i try to access the my account settings page initially when i tried to do this without the authentication guard service i was able to access the ui but now i would not be able to access the ui as you can see i'm being redirected to the login page so guys this is it for this video tutorial in this video tutorial i showed you how to implement authentication guards on your routes to prevent unauthorized access from viewing protected routes if you have any questions use the comment section and i will answer those questions and for the source code the source code is available in the devops repo the link will be provided in the video description please do not like please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel tech howdy sorry so please do like and subscribe my channel tech howdy thank you once again